What's up guys, today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing a 150 watt UFO style LED grow light manufactured by the company Mr. Hua. This will be my first UFO style grow light so I'm curious to see how it performs. Once you open the box you'll see that the company includes kind of like a thank you letter for purchasing their product. I think this is pretty cool because you don't see this very often and it kind of shows that the company is kind of going the extra mile to please the customer. So. This is already a pretty good sign. Next you'll see a small bag which contains all the hanging hardware for your light. The next item in the box is a nice thick power cord. This one measures 6 feet which is actually pretty cool because one of my more expensive lights only has a 3 foot cord. The next thing you'll see is a strong indication that my new year's resolution should be going to the gym as I struggle to get this out of the box. Lastly, what we've all been waiting for is the actual LED light. This one is a UFO style, so it's very small and compact. I really like this UFO form factor because I can really fit it into a small space. As I rotate the light around, I don't notice anything rattling inside or anything loose. Everything feels pretty sturdy. The venting around the entire light does a really good job of keeping it cool. While it's running and when I touch it, it's never more than lukewarm. This light features a single power cord input, a nice clicky power button, the light also features three anchors for which you hang the light from. Take the smaller clips and attach each one to each anchor and then make sure the other ends of those cords are hooked up to the carabiner. As far as the LEDs on this light go, all the smaller ones are 3 watt LEDs and then the one in the center is actually a 10 watt Cree Cobb LED. I've seen LED lights that feature just Cobb lights and then other ones that just feature small LEDs but this is one of the first ones that I've seen so far that combine the two so I'm really curious to see how it performs with plants. This light features your typical LED colors, lots of pinks and blues and a few IRs and along with that it also has one green one, I think two or three slightly orange ones and then that Cobb one in the center. I think this will give us a very good diverse light and I'm curious to see how the plants respond to it. I'm now going to compare this light to a cheaper lesser wattage light that I also own. All the images you'll see are going to be shot at the exact same exposure so you can get an idea of how bright they are. This is the 150 watt UFO light. This is the 45 watt LED grow light panel that I have. Here again is the new light and as you can see it's quite a bit brighter. The first things I notice that are different is on the UFO light the spread outwards is a lot wider even though the light is much smaller. The second difference I noticed is the Mr. Hua light keeps the even light almost all the way out to the very tip of the corners, while the 45 watt light doesn't quite light the corners that well, even though the panel is wider. Lastly, I'm going to show you what the light footprint looks like. I'm going to start with it laying flat on the actual table, and then I'm going to slowly lift it up to 20 inches high. As you can see, the light does a very good job of spreading out evenly. Once you hit the 20 inch mark, the whole poster board is evenly covered. I think it's pretty impressive that it's able to do that even though it has such a small form factor. And it allows you to add more lights to a small room if you needed more intensity. Here it is again at a much higher exposure just so you can see the footprint a little better. Here are the recommended heights to hang the light at based on the life cycle stage that your plant is in. If you're interested in this light you can purchase it on Amazon it's about 45 US dollars and I'll include a link in the description. I'm in the midst of filming a practical test with this light and actually growing plants underneath it. So be on the lookout in the future for that. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this review on this light. Um, shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you so much. It really encourages me to make more videos. And I hope to keep making more videos that you guys continue to enjoy. Thanks a lot and see ya.